Hello everyone. Today's video is about 10 targets, paper, wood, steel, AR500, plastic, PVC, and all you can use to make stands and targets. Oh, spray paint as well. Uh, you don't have to be cheap, you have to be practical. You cannot buy everything at high prices. You can also save some by doing some stuff at home, like do it yourself. Though. We're going to start with probably the easiest using 2x4. Here we have a stand using 2x4 put together that holds some 2x1 uh, inch strips and then you can step all your cardboard that holds the two strip in alignment together. And you can also use clips, as we will see in a second. Next one, PVC. You will find online a few ways to assemble those, put them together, cut them, the dimensions. And then again, you use some uh, one by two inches strips. And we're going to start with this one. Easy to put together. And easy, easy to transport. Takes no room. You can have 20 in your truck or even in your car. And here are the strips. Now, for the target on this side, well, let me show you something. I have made some templates of different targets. You don't have to be too precise. You just want an area to shoot at. This fence is... There we go. Anyway, you get the idea. Now, I'm going to let this one dry, so I will take another one. But what I also like to do is to put some stuff in the side. Get a marker and my kitchen. And here we are ready to shoot on a chip. Very practical, very light. And that's why my name is Practical Shooter. Next one. Also made out of wood, but then we go into the steel area. Meaning you have a two by four stand, but we use two by four to hold the steel target. The problem with those is, as you can see, they wear out because you're gonna miss. And what happens when you miss? Is this. You just it's interesting to see you have the uh, target right here and then as you miss at one point well the weight of the target the target is so heavy that that will break and that happened that happened on this side here it just broke up so you cut it off and you can make a shorter target stand until that one get uh, destroyed as well to hold those Still, you need some of those, some hooks. I will leave below the information for all of this. Um, so you need some hooks. And you want to drill, pre-drill. If not, you will crack the wood. So you want to pre-drill in an angle. This way the hook should have been into an angle. And this way the target hides that area of the wood. Is this one here. And I like that very much. You still use some 2x4 leftovers from those stands. 
and you buy one of those and they are maybe 10 feet so you ha you have to shove them off this is about 40 inches long and they are about five bucks so about the same price as a two by four by ten feet this is broken here through a ricochet i think the bullet went hit here and took some metal out but at first i tried it on this one here shooting at the metal to see what will happen and it just bent it so this will last a very 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 long time even if I keep on breaking that part here then my stand which is very solid will still last forever because it will be thinner and the bullet will just bounce onto it I use those u-shape uh, I don't know what they are called I pre-drill to the wood and then I place them but they are about 140 each uh, so that's uh, about six bucks of attachment as on my new system here a bag of five is about 150 and then I screw them in and the screws if they are two inches screws they will come on the other side but I grounded them down stand the best stands ever I went to this one here first very heavy duty very good you just have to provide the 2x4 to put in but that makes it even without the 2x4 very heavy and it's cumbersome so really good if you own a place and you want to leave them there all year long and that will be the way to go if you transport your stands from home to the range then those ones are probably the best they are light they fold onto each other and my first one which is this one here has already maybe five ten thousand round through it so it's worn out but very 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 solid still so those are my favorite I just acquire them maybe uh, once every couple of months I still use other way to shoot at my steel let's move to the steel or target holder here I have two about the same price except I find out the hard way that this one here is just basic metal and this one is AR500 the AR500 takes a beating and does not deform as this one here get deformed and when you are on the wood then it dents into the wood and you have a nightmare to remove it you have to hammer it away and then let's talk to oh again those will be on a link below if you are interested and then we have the still target ER500 of course and I believe I have here a half an inch and a 3 8 uh, it depends what you're gonna shoot at um, I suggest if you are going to shoot rifles to go with the half an inch and that will last a lifetime if only handguns like in my case a 3 8 would be enough uh, don't go any bigger because once you go with a thicker one first increase the weight so it's a lot heavier to carry but the targets are more expensive so if you are just shooting handguns 3 8 will last you also a lifetime and then you have different sizes from about four inches to human size torso and you can hang them up to those hooks there and you have the perfect setup for steel challenge training and this is all my setup here I use them in different configuration all of them still even so I'm moving away from the wood and the plastic and my favorite right now of course for training in steel challenge is this setup here and that is it for today
And today I'm using my P10F. One miss, I was probably at uh, 10 yards. Hmm, let's count. One large step is about one meter, one yard. One, two, three, four, five, six, about seven on the first shot, and the second, well, on the first magazine, and I was a bit further, so set. Yeah, about seven, uh, ten yards. We're gonna do another ten yards. And I always miss the last one. <laughs> Very good handgun. Very good handgun. I know I jerk on this one. And that will be it for today. So until next time. See you guys.